Hi, I'm Christina Nixon, a certified genetic counselor at Mainline Health's Cancer Risk Assessment and Genetics Program. Today we're going to talk about genetic testing related to hereditary breast cancer and why it can be helpful to know your status, especially if you've been diagnosed with locally advanced and or metastatic breast cancer. With me today is Dana Yorko, who was diagnosed with stage three inflammatory breast cancer in 2013, which later advanced to metastatic breast cancer. Dana also underwent genetic testing. Hi, Dana. Thanks so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. It's great to be here. So what led you to consider genetic testing? So I was diagnosed with stage three inflammatory breast cancer a little over three years ago. I have three different occasions of cancer in my family. I had concern for some other family members, my mother, my sister, and I have a daughter. So I wanted to find out if, if uh, there was some family connection, and, and especially if I passed something on to my daughter, um, to find out you know, what risks they might have in their lifetime. Definitely, I thought your family history was a good reason to consider genetic testing. And then additionally, your age at diagnosis, which was 50. A lot of women are still premenopausal at 50, and most breast cancer happens postmenopausally um, when it's not hereditary. I've always felt that knowledge is power, so I have this knowledge now, and it's, it's helped to um, give my doctor some other treatment options for me. I do have metastatic cancer now, but at least I'm prepared and can go forward with additional treatment options and possible clinical trials that may be available based on my genetic markers and my specific type of cancer as well. As in Dana's case, if you have a personal history of breast cancer, testing positive for a certain genetic mutation could affect your risk-reducing strategies or treatment choices. Test results could affect choices in surveillance, preventive measures, treatment, and clinical trial eligibility. There are clinical trials looking at potential treatment options that are being explored and designed for breast cancer patients, in particular those with metastatic cancer with BRCA or BRCA mutations. You should also consider getting tested if you are in a high-risk ethnic group such as Ashkenazi Jew or Mexican American. So Dana, how did you feel when you were considering genetic counseling? I was nervous, as you can imagine, with being diagnosed with cancer. Um, you're, you're on a quest to find out all the information that you can. And so I thought that genetic testing was kind of that final piece. I do try to encourage people that even if you just come in for, for the genetic counseling piece, it doesn't mean you have to get testing right away, but at least then you have the information and it may help clear up some of the misconceptions around genetic testing. Additionally, genetic counselors can help you understand more about why your doctor is recommending that you be tested. It can explain how to document your family history, why that's important, and how the test might be given, a blood or saliva test, and how long it will take to receive results. Genetic counseling can also help determine whether you meet the insurance criteria for coverage for the test and if not, whether there are other resources that can cover the cost. So Dana, what were your test results and did they impact your treatment at all? Well, I tested negative for BRCA1 and 2 mutations, but I did test positive for a mutation of the gene BRIP1, which uh, puts me at higher risk in my lifetime of getting breast cancer and ovarian cancer. And based on my age and my, my stage in life, it was decided that they would remove my ovaries and my fallopian tubes, which would lower my risk then of getting ovarian cancer later. So your story is a great example of how genetic testing can help people understand if they are at risk for other types of cancer and also what they can do with the information moving forward. Thank you. It's been great working with you with the genetic testing, uh, both in the 
pre-testing consultation um, with the counseling that you gave me to help me understand what it would mean. And you've helped me as I've found the results and you've helped me to, to really wrap my head around what this means for me. And I can only hope that it, it can mean so much more for everyone else who goes through this experience just to gain the knowledge to help them move forward with treatment solutions and possible other strategies to help them as they cope with this disease and with their mutations, whatever they may be. So I appreciate you being along with me on this journey. So thank you. It's been a pleasure to work with you as well, Dana. We hope we've helped to clarify why genetic testing can be an important part of decision making. And please remember, you should always talk to your doctor about potential treatment options, management strategies, and what is the best option for you. If you have locally advanced and or metastatic breast cancer, visit our metastatic breast cancer trial search engine at the link below to learn more about current clinical trials and how to enroll. Thanks for joining us.